So I want to go ahead and briefly cover <clears throat> this topic that I posted on Facebook, I posted on Meet Me, and I feel like I need to post a video. Um, the topic was that I have come to the decision that I'm going to adopt. One of the questions that came in my inbox was what was the driving decision that led me to this ultimate decision and why am I so confident that that's the only way that I'm going to be blessed to have a child? Well, let's see. May 31st, one of the most devastating of 2018, most devastating day of my life. Um, you got to be careful who you trust out there and you got to be able to control your temper. Those are two things that I need to work on. I won't lie. I had a Facebook friend that I believed took as the gospel and instead of being, um, I don't know, inquisitive and not being like, well, I don't know if there's a good way you, I could have put it, you know, I think that I did the best that I could and sometimes I am very emotional because of my polycystic ovarian syndrome and it does backfire against me. However, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if you asked my grandma a year ago, she would have told you by now I would have been walking down the aisle with Mr. CB and we would be having our kids. Um, I know now, no matter how bad anyone wants it, and more so more than me, it's never going to happen. And that's very tough to accept, um, especially when you just know that that's the one you're meant to be with. And um, I've never been a real fighter. I've never been a real go-getter. One of these women that, you know, really go after their man. Um, I've had enough heartbreak in my life. Three times I've tried love and three times I've failed. And three times I've been cheated on, lied to, manipulated. And it boils down to not being good enough not being pretty enough, not being able to have a child on my own and not to have sex before marriage. So, um, with all my beliefs that I have, pardon the voice, uh, no matter how bad I want it, the man that I want to have the ring on this finger by doesn't want me. So, even though that's a tough pill to swallow, I want to be a mom, but I don't want to do it at a, a clinic when I believe that you should be married really to have a child, yes, but there's a lot of children out there needing a good home. And to this woman here, who would give anything to be a mom, I'm at the point I want to adopt. So I want to get out of my credit card debt, and the moment that I am, since <coughs> I lack so much. I know that the love that I lack, I can give to a child. And I would love, 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 love to be a missus. But then again, you have to be pretty. You have to have working ovaries. You have to be young and vibrant. And I don't know, the past three times... It seems like I put all this trust in the relationship, only get lied to. So why bother? I keep my dating sites around for my friends that are guy friends at this point, because I feel like the one guy that I fell for, who has my heart, could care less. So why bother? And... I don't know. I just, I don't see it happening for me at this point. I'm going to be 41. I don't even want a birthday party this year. I want to focus on my grandparents having a birthday coming up because 95 and 93 are great birthdays. But it breaks my heart that my grandma's greatest wish, which was to see me and Mr. CB re reunite, won't happen. And I think you have so many heartbreaks that you just 
can't believe in love anymore. So you decide to play it safe. And I think that's exactly what was my worst thing with the last one, that I was so scared because of my past, that my past affected my future. And if you get scared and you don't act and you sit on the sidelines, you lose everything. I ought to know. So that's how the adoption came around. Like I said, it's going to take a while, but I do want to adopt. Thank you for listening.